In the second half of 2023, we launched new monitoring capabilities for four leading SD-WAN solutions. And with this release, we're delighted to announce a new integration for VMware SD-WAN, formerly known as VeloCloud. This integration supports the latest versions of VMware SD-WAN and follows a common design pattern that provides customers with a consistent, intuitive monitoring experience, which facilitates access to the holistic value of the Logic Monitor platform. Additionally, this integration provides Logic Monitor customers and global system integrator partners with out-of-the-box monitoring coverage for five of the six market-leading SD-WAN solutions. In the broader context of a multi-vendor hybrid cloud infrastructure, this integration facilitates service desk and network services triage, troubleshooting, and root cause analysis processes. In this example dashboard, Logic Monitor provides a high-level, at-a-glance overview of the health and performance of one's VMware SD-WAN infrastructure, so IT teams can quickly see if there are any notable issues or trends that warrant further investigation. Additionally, we can toggle to Resource Explorer to see if there might be a correlation of issues, for example, by location, edge type, firmware version, or any other resource property. Here, I clicked on a VMware SD-WAN edge that is red to see the relevant alert details and data point analysis to see if the tunnel state alert might be correlated with other metrics. Logic Monitor's AI Ops functionality tells me that there is a positive correlation between the state of this SD-WAN tunnel and the tunnel state on other resources. So there might be an issue that's affecting more than one device. If we were to click through to the selected resource, we can visually see the alert details and the affected devices. Because the alert is related to a discrete device, it's easy to send to ServiceNow and have it attached to the correct configuration item. If we click over to VMware SD-WAN tunnels, we can see the status and metrics for each tunnel with both the source and destination, as well as the underlay network. So it's easy to determine if this issue is correlated to a specific internet provider or not. Furthermore, if the tunnel alerts are all on a specific WAN circuit, we can quickly assess if the interfaces are overloaded or reporting errors. So you can either analyze what's consuming the bandwidth with NetFlow, plan for additional capacity, or contact the internet provider regarding circuit quality. To determine why issues might be occurring, we can visit the Logs tab from any device. From here, we'd see log messages for the specified VMware SD-WAN edge, as well as its WAN interfaces and SD-WAN tunnels. Finally, we can have Logic Monitor analyze the logs from one or more edges to segment them by categories such as sentiment score and keyword. In summary, this new integration makes it easy for customers to monitor the overall health and performance of VMware SD-WAN in the context of their hybrid cloud infrastructure, while providing intuitive workflows to simplify triage, troubleshooting, and root cause analysis processes. Cisco Catalyst Center is the new name for Cisco DNA Center, the network management system for Cisco enterprise networking products. This first of its kind integration enables customers to discover Cisco Catalyst Center sites and devices from across their enterprise and automatically import them into Logic Monitor. In this first iteration, we're focused on providing Cisco wireless network monitoring because it enables us to take advantage of the streaming telemetry that APs and wireless controllers send to Catalyst Center where they cannot be fully instrumented via SNNP and where SNNP monitoring places an unnecessary load on customer Cisco wireless controllers. Just like we saw with VMware SD-WAN, we can get an at-a-glance overview of the environment via a dashboard. Then look at the environment by location, version, and model. And review key issues in LM logs. In this case, this is Logic Monitor's first scripted log source, which fetches issues from the Catalyst Center API. This enables customers to view issues with a specific access point or to search LM logs for user, client device, or issue-specific information. The information we collect comes directly from Catalyst Center. So we get the same health information, device performance statistics, and wireless network utilization, 
quality, and noise information that customers would see in Catalyst Center. For customers to use this new integration, their Cisco APs and wireless controllers, whether AeroS or Catalyst 9800 series, need to be managed by Cisco Catalyst Center. As a continuation of our strategic Cisco investments, we're delighted to introduce new monitoring for Meraki environmental sensors. In addition to monitoring each device's reachability and battery life, we also capture each device's sensor readings. So for example, customers can report on the power usage over time and detect anomalous spikes or dips. Finally, we're introducing a new sensor graphic so customers can easily identify their sensors on a topology map. 